Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great week so far. I've been having a blast, no pun intended, with Helldivers 2. This game has been on a crazy ride this week and the developers over at Arrowhead have clearly been working their butts off as this has been one of the best multiplayer experiences I've had since Deep Rock Galactic. I've already poured over 50 hours into the game and that's solely to grasp the mechanics as well as experience the most the game has to offer. Since Helldivers 2 has a lot of challenging missions, it's worth noting that you have to prove your skills as a Helldiver to reach the maximum difficulty. This is something I already love as I'm a glutton for punishment when it comes to harder difficulties. Playing as a Helldiver, you'll need to utilize your stratagems and pick your loadout wisely. I tend to pick stratagems that allow me to play in a variety of ways, but every stratagem has its place. With these abilities, you can call down support from your dropship hovering above you in space. These dropships can provide aerial support and bombard any nasty enemies that are in your way. But since you'll be at the front line along with the enemies, friendly fire is a common case. But don't worry too much as there's always another Helldiver ready to replace the burnt chicken nugget body that you left behind. Needless to say, this game is in a terrific state. I've had countless matches go in my favor and plenty that were just extremely chaotic in nature. The fresh take on having a procedurally generated planet ensures that no mission layout feels identical from the last. Main objectives are your primary focus, as you'll only need to complete them in order to ensure victory. But in later difficulties, side objectives can really help the entire team while in these missions. Some side objectives can offer a glimpse at revealing the entire map, and also reveal enemy nests and even treasures scattered around. While other objectives can actually supply the team with more firepower within their stratagems. The variety of flavors within the mission are a total mystery as you'll only know of the faction that you'll face, but what type of enemy variants that lie in wait for you can only be found once on the battlefield. This makes every experience unpredictable, and this is why you need to make sure that you're prepared for anything before heading planetside. From the command of your very own dropship, you can adjust and buy stratagems that better suit your playstyle, and you can also work towards unlocking better stratagems as you continue to level and play on harder difficulties. As you play through missions, you'll find rare resources scattered all around the map. Among these resources, you might find some super credits, which happens to be the premium currency in the game. You also come across medals which allow you to buy more gear in your acquisitions, and requisition slips which allow you to buy more stratagems within your dropship. Sometimes you might also find samples which you'll need to extract in order to buy upgrades for your stratagems down the line. Keep in mind that these items will always be in a random pool, so it encourages searching through the entire level with your squad. Honestly though, it seems like people like to throw the word microtransactions around for this game, but you can earn everything just by playing the game and not spending a single dime. Not to mention, everything in this game is mostly cosmetic. Some of the gear has some defensive traits that may or may not help you, but in my 50 plus hours played, I've earned well over 3,000 super credits, and I haven't even had a real focus on earning them. Honestly, I just searched the map for items, and I come across them pretty easily. Oh, and the difficulty doesn't even play favorite to this either. The maps will always have a random layout all the time, so the items that you find will also be random, as well as the amount that you earn. So don't even stress, just have fun exploring. All in all, this game takes me back to the good old days of Halo Reach when you would play a game just to earn credits to buy a cool looking helmet. The gear is all earned in game and time spent in the game rewards the player with new choices and a wide variety of stylish cosmetics. Along with cosmetics are new weapons which I recommend going for first and foremost as they will make your life a lot easier when stratagems are on cooldown. Another characteristic trait that they took from their original game is the fact that this is a community driven experience. This means each week we'll have a pressing issue where we need to drive back each faction and liberate the planets that are under attack. In doing so, we create a unique style of progression, and the enemy also has a galactic contention plan that learns how to manipulate the star system in their own favor. With an incredibly smart AI and relentless oncoming waves of enemies, the game can feel a bit overwhelming at times, but each difficulty presents plenty of time to learn from your mistakes and gain a better understanding of how each threat challenges your Helldiver. The developers hit every nail on the head for me. From the corny 90s style propaganda featured in movies like Starship Troopers, to the chaotic nature of having random teammates obliterate your body only to spectate your corpse flying across an open field full of more explosions. It's all in good fun and I've been loving every second of it. Overall I would definitely say if this game piqued your interest in the slightest, then grab it because you will not regret it. In the time that I've spent in game, I've done countless missions on each difficulty, let squads on a wild goose chase across the map extinguishing any enemy nest that we can find, and on top of that, I got to play with a bunch of my friends. Even though this is just the beginning of its life cycle, this game has so much going for it already, and it's only showing more promise as it continues. The developers have earned my respect, not only for its immense care for its community, but also for its passion behind their project, and I couldn't recommend it enough. 
Anyways, I'm going to go start my next mission against the Nasty Terminids. But in case you forgot, my name is Zen, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care of yourself.